वेलकम बैक टू इकोनॉमिक्स लर्निंग टूडे वी डिस्कस कॉजेज ऑफ इन्फ्लेशन इन का इन पाकिस्तान फर्स्ट वी डिफाइन इन्फ्लेशन वट इज इन्फ्लेशन इन्फ्लेशन इज द सिचुएशन वेयर जनरल प्राइस लेवल इन अ कंट्री गोज ऑन टू इनक्रीज सम पीपल से दैट इफ टू मच मनी चेजेस टू आ फ्यू गुड्स द सिचुएशन इज नोन एज इन्फ्लेशन द परसिस्टेंट राइज इन जनरल प्राइस लेवल मे बी एट्रीब्यूटेड टू डिमांड साइड डिस्टर्बेंसेज और सप्लाई साइड डिस्टर्बेंस अकॉर्डिंग टू द इनक्रीज इन प्राइस लेवल ड्यू टू डिमांड साइड फैक्टर इज कॉल्ड डिमांड पुल इन्फ्लेशन वाइल राइज इन द प्राइस लेवल ड्यू टू सप्लाई साइड चेंज इज कॉल्ड कॉस्ट पुश इन्फ्लेशन दिस इज द थ्योरिटिकल डिविजन ऑफ इन्फ्लेशन हाउ एवर वी डिस्कस द काजेज ऑफ इन्फ्लेशन इन पाकिस्तान बाई कंसिडरिंग बोथ सप्लाई एंड डिमांड फैक्टर इंटरनेशनल इन्फ्लेशन इन द प्रजेंट टाइम नो कंट्री इज आइसोलेटेड फ्राम रेस्ट ऑफ द वर्ल्ड इट इज द मूव फॉर ग्लोबलाइजेशन विच हैज कन्वर्टेड द वर्ल्ड इन टू अ ग्लोबल विलेज देयर फॉर द इकनॉमिक कंडीशन ऑफ ईच कंट्री इफेक्ट द अदर कंट्रीज ड्यूरिंग नाइनटीन सिक्सटी द रिपीटेड डिवेल्यूएशन ऑफ पाउंड एंड डॉलर यू एस पेस रेस एक्सपेंडिचर वेतनम वार राइज इन द प्राइस ऑफ गोल्ड एंड राइज इन यू एस बैलेंस ऑफ पेमेंट डेफिसिट वर्ल्ड द फैक्टर विच लेड द फाउंडेशन ऑफ इंटरनेशनल इन्फ्लेशन इन नाइनटीन सेवेंटी यू एस रिफ्यूज टू कन्वर्ट डॉलर इन टू गोल्ड द ड्रेस्टिक इनक्रीज इन प्राइस ऑफ ऑयल एंड नोपलिस्टिक बिहेवियर ऑफ मल्टी नेशनल कॉरपोरेशन प्रोमोटेड इंटरनेशनल इन्फ्लेशन पाकिस्तान विच हैज टू इम्पोर्ट ईडीबल ऑयल मशीनरी केमिकल्स फर्टिलाइजर एंड ऑटोमोबाइल्स आल हैड टू बी इम्पोर्टेड एट हाई प्राइस विच एक्सलेटेड इन्फ्लेशन इन द कंट्री द इंटरनेशनल इनक्रीज इन प्राइस ऑफ ऑयल टू वन फोर्टी डॉलर पर बैरल इन जून दो हज़ार 2008 थाउजेंड एट प्रोमोटेड इन्फ्लेशन इन द कंट्री ऑल दो सीन्स टू थाउजेंड फोर्टीन वी फाइंड दैट द प्राइस ऑफ ऑयल गोल्ड इडिबल ऑयल एंड आयरन आर डिक्रीजिंग द वर्ल्ड ओवर बट इट इज नाट केस विद मेडिसन ड्राई मिल्क फर्टिलाइजर ट्रक्स मशीनरी एंड केमिकल इनक्रीज इन वेजेस बिकॉज ऑफ इम्पोर्टेड इन्फ्लेशन When prices started rising in the country, the demands for rise in wages were met by the laboring class because of political, economic, and social reason and pressure by trade union. The rise in wages had to be accepted. In certain cases, the wages were increased without increase in productivity. In the year of 2010 the salaries of government employees were increased by 50% and new scale were introduced in 2011 accordingly inflation went on building up in the country particularly after 2004 in every budget the salaries and pensions of government employees were increased from 7.5% to 13% to meet them government has to depends upon deficit financing increase in money supply in the last few years particularly during 1990 there has been a sharp increase in money supply such increase in money supply is attributed greater increase in government non productive expenditure fall in domestic saving and investment fall in tax payable capacity to meet the rise expenditure and accelerate the pace of economic growth government had to depends upon deficit financing under this device government borrows from public banks and prints new notes again the drastic devaluation in 1972 drilling the rupee with dollar in 1982 and the remittances sent by pakistani during 1990 increased the demand for currency accordingly state bank of pakistan and the commercial banks twin had to restore money supply in 1998 when we made nuclear 
test the western world imposed a lot of restrictions therefore to meet its expenditure money supply had to be restored the increase in money supply is attributed to increase in remittances during the year of 2003 to 18 this those the money supply increase also became responsible for increase in price level this was especially observed after 2004 to 5 when easy monetary policy was adopted due to budget deficit government borrowed heavily during 2008 to 2018 which increased money supply and inflation again high powered money went on increasing due to increase in remittances and foreign exchange reserve six cause fall in production the agriculture and industrial sectors of pakistan were backward the agriculture sector is surrounded by water logging and silently silently agriculture diseases pests and insects floods and droughts as a result per capita yield is very low the industrial sector is prey to ambitious economic places the country lacks heavy steel iron and automobile industry as a result the production level remain low on the other side because of increase in population the demand for goods is increasing thus when the supply is not forthcoming while demand is increasing the price of our so to increase next is population pressure the present population of the country in the year of 2080 was about 200 million and the population growth rate is was 1.8% except kenya pakistan have has the highest birth rate in 38 poor countries on the basis of population pakistan is sixth biggest country of the world because of greater population and higher birth rate the demand for goods and services is rising very rapidly this may lead to increase the prices in addition to local demand there is the demand from neighboring countries regarding wheat meat beef vegetable and pulses next is foreign aid earlier it was thought that foreign aid was will remove the capacity of resources but it could not happen in case of our country most of the aid given to us was concerned with political relationing again the loan were also given for unproductive purpose the productive loan were given for those project which had long time period as the dams power houses and steel mills like project do not give rise to output repeat readily while the expenditure made on these projects will results in increase in money supply in this way the prices start rising moreover the debt and interest payments serve as leakage these leakage become responsible for decreasing output of the economy consequently inflation become inevitable due to foreign aid the foreign loans are mostly unproductive they increase domestic money supply but do not increase production hence prices do rise next is no limits to growth nowadays everybody wishes to get the luxuries of life as automobiles and electronics accordingly every pakistani wishes to have more of such all goods those when we are in a hurry to rise our standard of living living and high influenced by the international demonstration effects the demand for goods and services is increasing as a result of the prices go on increase rising in our country the trend to construct spacious houses purchases branded vehicles clothes and dining at superior hotels has developed this has promoted monopolistic prices and inflation next is improper economic policies since 
partition our economic places have been moving around red tapes and bureaucracy because of political instability in the country the bureaucracy is having unlimited power during the eu period the free enterprise system was promoted which led to grow in unequal income distribution in the country and the laboring class failed to get due share in gnp the major share of assets banks and insurance companies was captured by the few people while a common man failed to get the facility of borrowing by banks the investment in agriculture sector was ignored the bhutto period the slogan of socialism was promoted as a result the heavy industries and banks were nationalized this discouraged the investing class the investment was badly affected the businessmen diverted the resources in speculation hoarding properties and construction of shopping plazas this all affected to domestic investment and production will when production fails to increase while demand goes on to increase the prices are so to rise why demand goes on to increase the prices are so to rise the tendency to invest in land for plots shopping plazas and community is increasing this promotion shortage the long the with inflation next is persistent deficit in balance of payment our imports are more than our export this situation leads to deficit in balance of payment to remove this deficit the currency was devalued in 1972 the linking of rupee with dollar was bad in 1982 the and foreign currency accounts were frozen in 1998 again managed flexible exchange rate system is being followed in the country but still the demand for dollar has always been more than supply of dollars as a result during 1980 and 1990 the exchange rate remained against rupee it is well evident in fact that the fall in the external value of the currency does have an impact on its internal value because of devaluation and depreciation of the currency the prices of import increase this leads to increase the domestic price level and to a further rise in price level next is defective social structure our social life is extremely outdated and backward people live we spend on marriages and fairs and other social traditions there is a our generation gap the young generation was wishes to follow an easy life they try to adopt shortcut in every walk of life the producers do not encourage the competition and improvement in their quality is the absolute technology is followed in agriculture and industrial sector the producers are rigid the people lack patriotism the people do not like simplicity following the international demonstration fact there is a flood of imported and smuggled goods in the country people believe in so called status and self prestige this is defective social and economic behavior when there is the operation of market is imperfection the production phenomenon is badly affected so this was our lesson today thank you very much